turn to our scripture reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 14, verses 12 through 20. Genesis chapter 14, starting in verse 12. Now they also carried off Abram's nephew Lot, and all his possessions, since he was living in Sodom. And one who had escaped came and reported this to Abram, the Hebrew. Now Abram was living near the great trees of Mamre, the Amorite, a brother of Eshcol and Manair, and all of whom were allied with Abram. And when Abram heard that his relative had been taken captive, he called out 318 trained men, born in his household, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. During the night, Abram divided his men to attack them, and he routed them, pursuing them as far as Fulba, north of Damascus. And he recovered all the goods and brought them back by his relative Lot and his possessions, together with the women and the other people. And after Abram returned from defeating the uh, Kedar Lahmer, the king's ally with him, the king of Sodom came out to meet with him in the valley of Shaveh, that is the valley of the kings. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out the bread and wine. He was the priest of the most high God. And he blessed Abram, saying, Blessed be Abram by God most high, creator of heaven and earth, and blessed be God most high who delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him a tenth 